Okay guys, so this will be a quick little tutorial on how you program your buddy bot and how you get him to pick up items and move them from one spot to another. So what will you need? Okay, well you'll need the buddy bot pick up point, the drop off point. I like to use a button to get the guy started and I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. You'll obviously need your buddy bot and then you know a container to drop something into or, or another item that you want to drop them into. It could be a machine, it could be a conveyor belt, whatever you like. Now, what do you need for those things? I mean, the buddy bot requirements are all here. The only thing that's a bit difficult might be this small robot chassis. And where do they come from? Well, we'll show you. All right. So how do we get one of these small robotic, robotic chassis? Well, we get it from these little guys here. So you'll notice these guys are running around. If you let them, they'll take photos of you. We're going to bop this guy. If I can. Come here. Yeah, I'm going to have to chase him now. Oop. Come here. All right. So when you bop this guy, he drops the chassis. All right. So we'll grab that, pick that up. And that's how you get those guys. So not too hard. If you've got um, if you've got some of these uh, the sentry gun set up, they're good because what you can do is you put them on a switch, leave them close to your base. Then when they come close enough, you turn it on, and it usually hits it two or three times and kills it before he runs away. So okay. So once you've got your buddy bot chassis and you make your little buddy bot. Here's how you want to set something up. So let's uh, let's start by just dragging these things to where we need them. I'm going to need that one. We're going to need that one. I'm going to grab the button and I'm going to use the robot. Okay, so let's uh, let's just for the sake of things, let's drop this here. So this is the pickup point. Now with the pickup point, you don't need power, um, but it will show you what's in there. So I'll just drop some potatoes in there for now. No, oh, bad choice. Let's drop some bars in there. Okay, one, two, it actually shows you on the side what's there, you see, so it's showing me the bars there, so we'll just drop a few bars in there, now I'm going to put a container over here, I'm going to use the drop off point, now I'm just going to put that on top, because as you can see, it's going to show you where the item will go in and where it's going to come out, so if I put it there, it should eject it out straight into there, so next I'm going to get my little buddy bot guy, we'll drop him here, alright, now he's not powered at the moment, I'll throw some batteries in him, you can put some more batteries on. He's difficult because he always turns around, so it's hard to get behind him to drop the batteries, but we'll, we'll sort that out later. Now, the reason why I like to drop a button, there's several reasons. Uh, if he ever runs out of power, it's easier to come along and we'll just start him up again with the button. And also, when he does stop, we'll be able to stick more batteries in him. All right? Now, how do we program the guy? All right, well, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to link some items together. So we're going to link the button to our little buddy bot. We're going to link the buddy bot to the pickup station. And I'm going to link him to the drop-off one as well. So I'll do that. Okay, so now that they're all linked, what we need to do is the programming. Okay, so we're going to click on this guy, and as you can see on my scanner, eat a program. Okay. So the button is attached to, to the little buddy bot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this. It's an event listener. Now it's going to listen for on button push. So this is the start of the program. Okay. So on button push, I'm going to tell it to pick up from the pickup point. Once it's picked the item up, I'm going to tell the robot to drop off, place the item in the drop off point. Okay. So on event, start this item. Once the pickup's complete, go and place it back in the drop off point. Once it's dropped off, I want it to repeat. So I'm going to want it to come back here and pick up from the pickup point. So it's a continuous loop. Once it gets into this loop, he's just going to go backwards or forwards and pick up and drop off and pick up and drop off. And he'll do that until there's nothing to pick up or drop off. Okay. Now, the tricky bit and often what people often miss is this bit here. So pick up from the pickup point. You've got to set the pickup point. So when I click, sorry, when I click on here, that's how you set it. I've just right clicked to set the pickup point because the buddy bot doesn't know where the pickup point is. You might have multiple pickup points. I'm telling it just to pick up from the pickup point when you've got 10 of these lying around, it doesn't know. Okay. So again, I go back into programming because that's now been set buddy bot 
pick up. Okay, you can see it there. Now, the drop-off spot, I'm going to set as well, so I click on that. I come over here, I highlight that, and set that. You can tell it's set because it gives you the beep and it links it in. All right, so we should be good to go now. We've got our pick-up point with, with the items in it. We've got our drop-off point with the container, and we'll just confirm here so there's nothing in there. All right, let's see. Let's hit the button and watch the magic happen. So, bang. All right, he's, he's started. He's gone into his loop. He's picking up. He's going to go over here, and he's going to drop off. And as you see, yep, it spits straight in there. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Get out of here. Get out of here. How dare you? Oh, come on, guys. I'm trying to make a video here. I don't have any defense as well. Actually, I do have some defenses. Let's see if I can lure them over here. Come on, fellas. Come over here. I got something for you. And there's our little robot in the background working around. Come on, come here. Ding! Sorry, buddy. Let's try that again. Come and get me. Ah! Ah, screw it. I don't want to run over those myself because they'll activate on me as well. How rude. Alright, they're dead. Okay. Let's go and see how our buddy, buddy bot is doing. Yeah, a bit scabby. Alright. So it looks like he's finished, alright, because he's picked up all the items and he's dropped them off. Where, where something like this would come in handy, um, and I've used this before, you know, if you've got an oil pump set up, and, I, and I'll, I'll show you in a little video on this one later, if you've got an oil pump set up here, you might want to actually bring over uh, some of the empty containers so that it can create, so you might want to bring empty barrels over and drop them in the pump so it can create the barrels with oil in them. Um, you might want to move items from, say, one of your mining stations over here all the way back to base and drop them in a can. There's all sorts of different you know, applications you can use it for. So, yeah, so now that he's stopped, I can stick another battery inside him and he'll, he'll run for a long time. When he does run out of batteries, he simply just stops and drops on the ground. All you do is put batteries back in him and then click the button again. So that's quick and short, shows you how to program. There are some more complicated uh, ways to program these guys, and I'll, I'll do another video on those later. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like that, hit the like and subscribe button. See you next time.